I'm Megan Edwards for Van City Vogue, and tonight we have an exclusive interview with Vancouver's own Son Real, and we're going to talk to him before he goes on stage at his release party for Good News. Now I've been up, 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 and I've been down. Hey. Ain't smoked no f but I'm higher than a cloud now. Oh. I've been lost, 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 but now I'm found. Oh. Yeah, I'm around my city where my feet be on the ground now. I wow. killed the game in this game and oh wait, hey Too broke to catch a cab, so they say I'm too late, hey Looking kinda funny, use my skill as a gateway But that shit ain't cool, so everyone hate me Hey you, how you doing? So I'm here with Samriel at Fortune How are you feeling tonight? I feel a big night Yeah, I feel good, I feel really good It's yeah. like obviously a big night for me, like being my CD release, so yeah, I'm stoked, and I'm stoked you're uh, interviewing me right now. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I did quite a bit of research on you before tonight, and one of the things I was super impressed about was you've kind of done this for 10 years, and you, a lot of people would give up after five, after six, after seven. How did you keep going 10 years? Well, I mean, I wasn't really, like, doing it for 10 years. Like, I started when I was, like, 15, and, like, I started just kind of writing and recording my own stuff. It was just, like, a hobby and stuff like that, but, like, I think there's definitely been times in my career where I've wanted to quit or I've wanted to just give up, but I think that anybody that really wants something, like, even in those times says, you know what, I'm going to do it, so... I mean, yeah, there's been struggles and there's been obstacles, but yeah, I'm still doing it and I'm getting better. Like, the day I think I, like, plateau and, like, stop getting better is the day I'll be like, huh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But mm -hmm. right now, I just, I, I keep getting better, so that's something that keeps me going. So. But one song that I listened to, you were talking kind of about your mom, and she was asking you if you had a backup plan. Did you have a backup plan? I, like, I, there was definitely times where I wanted to have a backup plan and stuff like that. Like, I was working, I was working construction and, like, trying to do the music. And when you're working, like, such, like, a solid day job, yeah. you don't really, like, you can't, it's, like, hard to see how you can make your living off something that you just love. Yeah. But, I mean, I made it work. I, I moved out of my apartment. I went and slept on a couch for four months and went on tour. And then I was recording stuff out of my friend's room when I was living there. And, you know, I just, I just gave up a bunch of things to get a, some things back down the road, so... Yeah, I think, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. Yeah. And for me, it was starting, like, you know, with things like that. I'm find this backup plan. Mom, bun shovel in the retail. I finna get them figures that they said we'll never see well. Huh. And is your mom feeling at ease now? Does she still want you to have a backup plan? Or oh, no, no. Yet? My mom's, like, my biggest fan now. It's so tight. Like, my mom, it, like, gets mad at me when I don't tell her. Like, I just told her that I got a show in Whistler tomorrow and then we fly out to LA on Friday. And I'm gonna be there for like 10, 11 days kind of thing. Mom's like, you going to LA and tell me and stuff. Like she gets like so mad. She wants me to send her like progress reports and stuff. Like she asked like almost too much. Shout out to my mom, shout out to Sue. Um, but yeah, like it's kind of like, yeah. And you, you had a good upbringing with your mom. You, you were kind of like a middle class upbringing. Yeah. Do you find you get respect from your peers who, because I know in rap a lot, people are, are rapping about not having a lot when they grew up. Do you find you, have, you get respect? Yeah, of course, because I think people respect that I don't like, I think I wouldn't get respect if I were to come out and be like, yo, I'm hood, yo, don't fuck with me, I'm bad, or whatever. Yeah. But I come out and I say things that, you know, are relevant to my life and relevant to what I've been through. So I got a different story than those guys, and I think that um, I respect their stories the same way they respect mine. It's just a different kind of walk of life. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's cool to collaborate with those kinds of people because it's like, it's kind of like, it makes like a good juxtaposition. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I sound different because I'm obviously from a different surrounding, but... Yeah. So who have your inspirations been? Who do you think you sound like now? Does anyone compare Ooh. you to anyone? A lot of people like obviously compare me to Mac Miller. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. It's all the time just because I wear a hat and he's like a little fresh kid. Wear a hat? Yeah, well, I don't know. If you're white now and you wear a snapback that's like a vintage snapback, yeah. you're fucked because that guy's like so big. He's done such a good job and I respect that guy a lot. Um, I get paired to, uh, compared to Drake a lot, obviously, just because um, I'm obviously from Canada and I sing as well as rap. And um, my voice is actually a little bit similar to him. It's like, yeah, yeah, my office is my tour bus. She came through, she brought food, she got fucked, she knew what's up. But I think like... When you first come out, everyone's going to compare you to somebody and everyone's not going to be kind of on the fence with you a bit. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, people will just buy into you if you just keep doing what you're doing and just keep being yourself. Because, you know, in my case, like, 
like when Mac Miller first came out, I stopped wearing a hat all the time because I was like, oh man, I don't want to look like this guy. But it's like, yo, that's you, man. Just mm. Do you yourself. get mad if people say, oh, you sound like Drake? No, not at all, not at all. It, I mean, it gets kind of annoying because it does happen like mm -hmm. in Canada here. Obviously, people in the U.S. they'll be like, oh, another Canadian artist that I just found out about. Oh, you kind of like sound like Drake or whatever. Yeah. But I mean, no, I think that's I think that's cool to get compared to somebody in a lot of ways because Drake's an amazing artist, Mac Miller's an amazing artist. So definitely. I'm just trying to make my own brand and something that I love and something that the people love, and it's it's working for me so far. And we're, we just keep building it and trying to take it to the next level. So. So talking about fashion for a second, obviously we're Van City Vogue, so we want to know a little bit about your style. Like, can you describe your style to us? Yeah, um, I, I love anything that's jean. I'm, I'm like a fucking like jean connoisseur. Like, so you like the jean jackets? I'm a big fan of like 80s acid wash jean. Like yeah. it's super ugly and like you can't really find anything that ever really fits you because yeah. it's just like like difficult because it's all 80s. So like sleeves on things are like super big and like the jeans are all like weird but I think 80s wash 80s like light kind of colored jean is my favorite I like things without the sleeves you, you always notice I'm never wearing sleeves on anything of mine because I've got a theory that if you cut the sleeves off of any jacket it looks better and did so you cut far, this jacket? yeah you yeah. cut this jacket I cut everything man. I it cut, looks good though it looks yeah. like it came like that yeah no I cut it I, I like all the that's another thing, I alter all my clothes. Like even if it's just little things, like I'll cut the cuffs off a lot of my jeans so they fray at the bottom. Like I guess my style is kinda like eighties and nineties influence, but I have my you. own little yeah, yeah, I have my own little flip. I like it. I yeah. like it. So you opened for Snoop recently in Victoria. How was that? What was that like? That was so sick. I'm never really like I'm usually like one of those artists I am usually a headliner yeah. in uh, smaller like three hundred kind of people shows and stuff like that. Um, this was my first time, or like, I think it was like my second or third time actually, all together, doing like a big stadium show where there was, you know, 6,000 people there. And yeah. It was cool because everyone's there to see Snoop, and like, yeah, some people know who you are, but mm -hmm. like, for the majority of people are there to see Snoop, so it's like a challenge. You have to like win them over with, with something special, you know what I mean? So Absolutely. So tonight, big night, good news, you're launching it. Um, what should we expect to see from your performance? Uh, this is like my first performance, uh, not using very much backing tracks on my singing, so I'm going to be singing quite a bit tonight, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I just think it's just going to be something different, it's going to be something innovative, I've got a live band tonight, um, I've got background vocals from Ali Milner, shout out to Tyler on the drums, and shout out to my man Bill on the bass, and um, we got some special guests coming out tonight, Rich Kid flew from Toronto, um, my man Chad's here tonight, he's going to come out for a track, and yeah, so... I'm really excited. It's, it's like the biggest night. I think this is like the biggest night to me in my career just because we've worked so hard for good news and we've worked so hard to get the support of the city and now it's like, you know, everyone that matters to me in the city is here and it's just like... There's lots just, of people here. Just a good feeling, man, yeah. So you feel good? Yeah, I feel great. Okay. How can your fans get in touch with you if they want to? Facebook, Twitter? Yeah, I'm, um... Facebook's like our biggest outlet, so it's facebook.com slash therealsunreal, Twitter uh, at therealsunreal, and Instagram at therealsunreal, so it's all at therealsunreal. At therealsunreal. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. It was great talking to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Peace.